Hello, my name is Andrew. I am from Aragon, and uh, I'm going to talk about uh, database models uh, for Ethereum, specifically for the execution layer, and more specifically for full nodes. So uh, that uh, that is related to Guillaume's talk. Uh, and uh, with uh, the vehicle tree, you have blocks with witnesses, but still there there should be some nodes. Uh, the builder nodes, perhaps, who will have all the data. So that will mostly be about those nodes. Um, so how was uh, the, how we used to think about uh, the, the database model, the state model? In the old days, it was nice and simple. You have the Melko Patricia try, and um, it was used for two purposes. So it was used to calculate the state route, and it was also like EVM, which uh, has access to the state, it also used to go through the Merkle Patricia try. Uh, and what are the benefits of this data model? That it is simple uh, conceptually, because it's only like one data structure you have to deal with. And also there is another big advantage is that when you have this Merkle Patricia try, it's really easy to evolve it through time. So you make some changes with every block, and most of your leaves, leaves being accounts and, and storage slots, they don't change. So this, the, the route will change for sure, and a lot of <coughs> intermediary, intermediate nodes, but most of the leaves won't change. So you can kind of combine a lot of tries in one, one one database uh, that will that will you give you the e easily a view of multiple states. You can do side chains. You could do, do what not using um, using the same data structure. So it will be a forest essentially. Uh, what are the drawbacks of this data model? Well, it's it's basically it's slow. <laughs> Why is it slow? Uh, because, well, consider the EVM access, the EVM access to the state. You, from the EVM point of view, you, what you are interested in, you are interested in the leaves. But in this model, you access all the leaves through the entire tree. So you, you go from the root and through the intermediate nodes and uh, so on. So it's very slow from that point of view. Also, from the point of, from uh, the, 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 this is conceptually how fast sync used to work. Uh, you get all the nodes, you start from, from the root, and you download everything. Why, why is fast sync slow? Because <laughs> you, you essentially, the, the, all the, the nodes on top of the leaves, uh, they take a lot of space. Uh, and uh, also there are some like more technical issues. You could only download only like a li limited number of nodes, perhaps that could be improved. But the main reason is that um, uh, that you, you had you, you were downloading a lot of uh, derivative data. Uh, but then when you start thinking about speed and performance, of course, there are many, many, many conflicting, uh, it's a multi-factor thing, thing, and you have to think about uh, what, what are you optimizing for? Are you optimizing for performance uh, at the tip of the chain, or you may be, like, you are interested in a building a full archive node, to your, and you are interested in some kind of historical transaction tracing, do you optimize uh, for sync time, disk footprint, uh, footprint, etc., etc., etc.? So uh, that, that those are important questions, and uh, of course we want to optimize for everything, but sometimes you have to make trade-offs. So here is a more modern data model. I th so it corresponds to the early state uh, of Aragon and also how I understand it conceptually, at least it, it corresponds to the snap sinking gas. Uh, and you, like conceptually, you start thinking about the hash state as your primary <coughs> data model. So 
what I what I mean by 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 the state. By the state, I mean the accounts, the storage, and and also the code. And uh, essentially, on a very high at a very high level, you can think about it as uh, as the associative array, also known as as map or key value pairs or dictionary. And, and it can be stored like that, 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 that associative array, like how it is store, stored in your, in your Ethereum client, that's another question. It's, it can be uh, B plus trees uh, in say LMDB, or it can be some other uh, uh, database me storage mechanism, but it's for, if you consider accounts, it's basically a table. You have and the key, which is the, the hash of the account address, and the value is, is the account value somehow serialized. Might be RLP, might be another way of serialization. Uh, but then, so when, so hash state is the, the leaves, the actual state, and from the EVM point of view, you don't need access to any intermediate nodes. You, you are, you load a particular address, uh, like an account from a particular address, you load a particular storage slot, uh, you read a particular code. Uh, on top of that has state, you can build, and you, 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 have, you have to build the, 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 um, the commitment, which is the Merkle Patricia Tri state route. And for that, uh, at least in Aragon, we have this uh, another, um, database table with all the intermediate nodes, or like mo maybe not all, but the upper part of the Merkle Patricia try. And those are completely derivative from the data. So once you, when you have the state, you can, like that, that's all you need, then you can rebuild the entire Merkle Patricia try from scratch. And you might not do it with every block, you might, you, you might have a clever algorithm to update the Merkle Patricia try with, uh, with the changes, but conceptually, state, the hash state is, is the primitive. Um, what is, what, 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 uh, what, is uh, what are the pros of, of this model? Uh, the, the, it's, 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 it's reasonably fast, it's reasonably simple, and um, the fact is that, that you have this uh, Merkle Patricia try, um, it helps you to verify during the du during, uh, uh, sync, it helps you to verify that the data that you download, uh, that it matches the state route. So you can uh, download a range of, uh, of accounts, uh, and then you can uh, uh, ask for all the, like a proof essentially, a proof um, from that uh, range of leaves that all the with all the intermediate nodes, you can verify that those leaves belong to the state route, right? So it's a nice property. You, you, you utilize this commitment scheme, which is the Merkle Patricia try to help you with uh, sync verification so you don't have a malicious agent feeding your rubbish during sync. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, by, by, this, by state we mean uh, accounts, storage, and, and code. And uh, with, is, in a, 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 as a map, as an, as, as an associative, associative array. So the, the keys are, hashed account addresses and hashed uh, storage slots. And why hashed? Uh, the reason why they're hashed is because when uh, Ethereum was designed, it was, uh, th there was uh, originally the keys were not hashed, but if you don't hash uh, for, for the purpose of uh, Merkle Patricia try uh, root calculation, but if you don't do the hashing, then there is a danger of the, the tree being Im imbalanced, and that is a potential attack. So this extra hashing is a means to keep the Merkle Patricia uh, try balanced. And then, but with, the, with, with this model, at least how it's uh, uh, in, in the simple form, hash state, now it's, it's not easy to do, to, to have the, the, the multi-state. 
So hash state is only the current state and uh, corresponding to a particular block, to a particular uh, state, uh, like a point in time. And to do, like, to in order to support, uh, like, multiple states, multiple blocks, to support reorgs and, and, uh, and so on, you need some kind of deltas that would uh, move you from a particular state to another state. That, that's what we do in, in, in Aragon. We have, uh, we have backwards deltas that you, so if you need to do a reorg, you use backwards del deltas to unwind to, to the fork point and then you kind of re-execute blocks again. But you, you, I guess you, you can do, like you, you, you can be creative with deltas, but you, in this simple model, you need something clever to handle the multi-state. Um, and uh, yeah, and also there are questions, of course, how do you uh, update the, those intermediate, intermediate nodes and so on. Uh, which um, I, I, I'm happy to go into uh, during the longer session. Uh, now enter state expiry. So sta state expiry is this new vision combined with uh, the vehicle uh, tree, uh, w so which will uh, uh, which will achieve statelessness and and state expiry. So I'm using. Uh, you mentioned that there are like. Uh, there are a number of uh, uh, quite a few approaches, but basically I'm using this uh, approach uh, from Vitalik's uh, post, uh, um, and the you, you have periods uh, and uh, each uh, all the pre all the periods uh, apart from the most recent one are, are frozen, and and you only update uh, like pe uh, data from from the period from the very last, from the latest period, and you can copy uh, some, if you access state from the previous period, you, uh, you copy data from, the, from that. So we kind of, for our purposes, we are only concerned with the mm, most, with the two most recent periods. Uh, and the, the commitment scheme changes to, instead of being the Merkel patricia tri route, to the Verkel tri route. So by commitment, like you commit to a certain state. Um, so that's the future data model uh, uh, I'm proposing, and um, the, the, there are two changes. Like the one change is that you move from the hash state to the plain state. Um, so the keys are now not not hashed anymore. The, the, for account, it will be the account address rather than the hash of the account address. Uh, and why, why do you need that? You need that because for vehicle tree, uh, the, how the vehicle tree is specified, there is no, that, like, there is no extra hashing uh, in the vehicle tree. Uh, and there are also other benefits if you move to the uh, unhashed uh, state. Uh, you can have range queries. So you can range, like, give me slots from from zero to 120. You can do that easily. With, when your base data model is, uh, the, is uh, the hash state, you cannot do that easily. Also, for, from the AVM's point of view, it's the, this plain unhashed state is even better because from the AVM's point of view, you access account by its address, but not by the, by the hash of the address. Um, so that, that, that's kind of one fundamental change. And then on top of that, like adjusting uh, the scheme to the new world, where we, well, to the state expiry world, uh, we can have uh, states corresponding to period zero and period one. Both have the same format. So that's the, the, the plain state format. And, e, and the period one, the, the period zero acts as a backup to period one. But period zero is, is frozen. It does not change. It's, it's static, which leads to interesting implications. Uh, and then with the same, the same underlying state format, but you can have with this, uh, like mu multiple commitment schemes. You can have the Merkel Patricia try uh, for, uh, for period zero and the, 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 and the Merkel tri uh, tree for period one. But, and the, you, you, but then you, you have to here you have to be 
clever on uh, in how you go from your state, which is like simple, a simple map of an unhashed uh, keys uh, to accounts, to 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 the local Patricia try route or to the local uh, lo local route. So it it, it can be quite tr uh, tricky and complicated, but there are like certain upsides that you you you. Uh, mm, now it's more flexible. You decouple your state from a particular commitment scheme. Maybe if we don't like local trees in the future, it will be easier to migrate to a new commitment scheme. Uh, but there are, of course, many questions with, with this data model. How, uh, how do you think securely? How does the transition work? Uh, where do we get pre-images uh, because we have a population of SnapSync get nodes that don't have pre-images and, uh, and so on. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy we need more time to discuss those questions. I'm, I'm happy to talk about it uh, 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 during the longer session. Uh, and basically, like a, a sneak uh, peek, uh, in Aragon 2, it's still under uh, uh, active uh, R&D we kind of we utilize this idea from from state expiry uh, that you can uh, like you you can split uh, the state uh, along the the time axis and uh, like your say you have blocks from uh 1 to 10 million uh, the the state corresponding to like to to uh, as of block 10 million and that is fixed like for uh, and, and you can compose uh, uh, later changes, um, uh, which will be more in flux. Uh, but bigger historical changes, they are, those are static, and, and they don't change. You can put them on, on, on torrent, uh, those like sna historical snapshots, uh, and, and uh, use some kind of uh, so social commitment to, to those data files. The, the, because they, they don't ever change. Uh, so it's somewhat similar conceptually to the log stru uh, structured uh, merge tree databases a little bit. Again, we can go into, into more detail uh, at the longer session, and that's still under active uh, development uh, for Aragon 2. Um, but we, when you have a static uh, state, a static mm, associative array, you can do all kinds of clever things uh, like we are, we are toying with the idea of, uh, perfect, uh, of the perfect uh, ha hash function. Uh, uh, right, so, and the takeaway is for all EL clients migrate to unhashed state. In Aragon, it's like took us quite a while. It's a, huge uh, undertaking, but then you'll be able to do Velco, you will be able to do the gas reform in Velco, your EVM will be faster, uh, lots of benefits.